Hello to everybody! Today we are going to study a new past tense that is called past continuous. Just a few, just a little revision. Past simple, you know that past simple is made with two forms. It can be made with regular verbs, i.e. subject plus verb plus ed, for example, I studied English yesterday, or irregular verbs, subject plus second column irregular verbs that you have to remember. For example, I bought a new jumper two days ago. Past simple is used for finished actions, actions which are completely in the past and over. And they usually have a specific time reference, like for example, ago, last, in, 2012, when, etc. Quindi il passato è semplice, lo si usa solo per azioni finite, passate completamente, con riferimenti di tempo specifici. Now, past continuous. Continuous means that the verb has got the ing form. And you know that when we've got a verb plus ing, before that we've got the auxiliary of the verb to be. In this case, to be is in the past. So we've got subject plus was or were plus verb ing. Quindi voi conoscete già il present continuous, tutte le volte che abbiamo un continuous noi abbiamo un verbo con la forma in ing e prima di esso abbiamo il verbo essere. In questo caso non è al presente ma è al past, quindi was or were, perché è un past continuous. For example, I was watching TV yesterday at 8 p.m. Stavo guardando la TV ieri alle 8, stavo, I was watching, guardando. If you want to make the question form, you just have to move was or were before the subject. For example, were you having dinner at 6 p.m.? No, I wasn't. I was having a shower. Remember that you can't use the continuous form with state verbs. Non si può mai usare la forma continuata con i verbi di stato, né al presente né al passato. Some of the most frequent state verbs are love, like, prefer, hate, dislike, mind, understand, remember, forget, want, need. With these verbs we just use past simple. Quindi con questi verbi si usa solo il passato semplice. When do we use past continuous? We've got different situations. This is the first one. To talk about an action happening in a specific moment of the past. Here we've got our timeline in the past. Yesterday, in a specific moment, for example at 9 p.m., yesterday evening at 9 p.m., I was watching a horror film on Netflix. Ieri sera alle 9 stavo guardando un film horror on Netflix. I didn't say Yesterday I watched a film. That's a general statement. I said yesterday at 9 p.m. I was watching. So I want to specify a particular moment in the past. Quindi non ho detto semplicemente ieri ho visto, I watched un film. Ho specificato il momento nel passato, ieri alle 9, stavo facendo una cosa. And would you? What were you doing yesterday evening at 9 p.m.? Second situation, you use the past continuous to talk about an ongoing action that in the past was interrupted by a sudden event. This is a, one of the most frequent situations in which past continuous is used. Now we are going to use the blue color to identify the ongoing action, the action which started first and that was happening and the red color to identify the second action, the sudden, short action, which interrupted the first. Quindi useremo il blu per indicare l'azione che stava succedendo e che è iniziata per prima, e il rosso per indicare invece l'azione che è arrivata dopo e l'ha interrotta improvvisamente. Look at the scheme. Yesterday I was walking along the street when I suddenly met my ex-boyfriend. Ieri, ieri stavo camminando lungo la strada, questa è la relazione che stava succedendo e che è iniziata per prima, 
quando improvvisamente ho incontrato il mio ex. La seconda me l'ha interrotta. So the action which started first and was continuing is with the past continuous. The action that came after that and that interrupted the first one is in the past simple tense. So in this situation, we both use past continuous and past simple. Quindi in questa situazione si utilizzano entrambi i tempi passati, il past continuous per quella che è iniziata per prima e il past simple per quella che poi l'ha interrotta. So the action which started first, not because I wrote it first, but because it started first. Quindi al past continuous va l'azione non che ho menzionato per prima, ma quella che è iniziata per prima. Perché la frase potrebbe essere anche capovolta. When I suddenly met my ex-boyfriend, I was walking along the street. Here you've got other examples. I was watching TV when the light went off. Stavo guardando la TV quando improvvisamente la luce se ne andò. While I was reading a book, I fell asleep. Stavo leggendo un libro quando improvvisamente mi sono addormentata. Be careful with these signal words. While and as have got the same meaning. They both translate mentre. Just as means proprio nel momento in cui, in the very moment in which. These words, words are always followed by past continuous tense. The word suddenly, which translates improvvisamente, is always followed by the past simple. So be careful with these words. Situation number three. To talk about two or more actions happening at the same time. Here we've got two actions which were happening in the same moment. So they were parallel actions. No one interrupted the other. Quindi abbiamo due azioni che correvano parallele, contemporaneamente, nessuna ha interrotto l'altra. While I was doing my homework, my sister was listening to music. Mentre io facevo i compiti o stavo facendo i compiti, mia sorella ascoltava o stava ascoltando la musica. So two parallel actions connected by the word while, mentre, in this case, both actions have got past continuous because they are parallel. They don't interrupt each other. Situation number four. Past continuous is used also to describe photos, especially when these photos are related to past experiences or to history. For example, I'm talking with a friend of mine about my holiday. I'm going to show her one of my photos and I say, in this picture we were on the beach, I was swimming in the sea, my mom was lying in the sun and my little brother was collecting shells. Quindi mostro ad una mia amica una foto sulle mie vacanze di cui sto, le sto parlando e le dico in questa foto eravamo in spiaggia, io nuotavo, stavo nuotando nel mare mentre mia mamma stava prendendo il sole e mio fratello stava raccogliendo le conchiglie. So this was what was happening in that moment in which the picture was taken, in a precise moment in the past. So we use it to describe a photo about my past experience. You already know that we usually use present continuous to describe photos and pictures, but when these photos are about my past experience or history in general, we prefer to use past continuous. Now have a look at this second paper on which you've got some other pictures which want to exemplify the second situation, the most frequent one. The situation in which we've got an action which was happening and that was interrupted by a second action. So when we use both past continuous and past simple. Nella prima immagine un ragazzo sta camminando ma all'improvviso cade sulla mazza. Nella seconda il ragazzo sta facendo i compiti ma all'improvviso il telefono lo interrompe e suona. Le ragazze stanno camminando ma sfortunatamente comincia a piovere e mentre sta mangiando gli spaghetti o le patatine trova una, un ragno. So while Rob was walking in the living room, he fell over my baseball bat. 
So this is the first action which was going on and this is the second which interrupted the first. Past continuous, past simple. He was doing his homework when the phone rang. Second one is a sudden event which interrupted the first. Jen and I were having a walk. First action going on when it suddenly and unfortunately started to rain. Sudden second action. He found a spider in his dish while he was eating spaghetti. Quindi potrei scriverla anche alla rovescia, ma quella che è iniziata prima è che lui aveva iniziato a mangiare gli spaghetti. He was eating spaghetti, ma dopo ha trovato improvvisamente un ragno. So the second interrupting action is in the past simple. Ok, be careful when you've got one action happening after the other. Sometimes also in a quick way we just use a past simple. For example, I was walking along the road when I saw Rob, so I stopped and we had a chat. Quindi quando un'azione succede subito dopo l'altra, subito dopo l'altra, usiamo solo il past simple. Stavo camminando lungo la strada quando ho visto Rob, quindi io mi sono fermata e ho chiacchierato. Mi sono fermata e ho chiacchierato due azioni una dopo l'altra. Past simple, no past continuous. I hope everything was clear to you. Just think about it in a while and then try to make more examples by your own, on your own. Bye bye.